Call the I'm Steve Forbes. Forbes. You're watching just Traders Nation. Welcome back. You are Today. tuned into Traders Nation. My pleasure to have with us here today Pedro Adeo, founder of Fortress Financial Group and number one best selling author of Retired and Free. Pedro, welcome to Traders Nation. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Pedro, you're more than welcome. Thanks for being with us. Hey, inflation isn't coming, and should we be concerned about it? Well, obviously, the market seems to be a little concerned about it because every time there's any piece of data yeah. that uh, seems to suggest that we might see more inflation than than we or the Fed as suspected, mm -hmm. the market seems to get very nervous about that. So yeah. when you see these jobless claims reports at record lows, yeah. um, obviously people tend to get a little bit nervous. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we're gonna we'll talk about that. So, so this is where some of that maybe that some of that volatility is coming in play because you know there's a lot of static in the air. Um, Feds may do this, they may do that. Uh, inflation, headwinds, all this uh, buzz that's going around. So, th that certainly that comes into the play with volatility in the market, right, Pedro? Um, absolutely. I mean, that that's what it seems when you all the all the market movers, all the mm -hmm. all the talking heads <laughs> that sure. are trying to explain yeah. why we're seeing what you know looks like record volatility in the yeah. last couple of weeks here. It certainly seems to be um, just that overall fear that that the Fed might right. raise rates maybe more than they've said. They, they might raise rates faster, higher. Sure. And the fact is, I think. There's just a clear acknowledgement that, you know, we're in a very long up market cycle. We've mm -hmm. seen nine, you know, somewhat glorious years sure. in the market. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that this is, you know, by almost twi twice as long or longer than the average stock market run. Yeah. And so everyone's question is at what point does this bull market run out of steam here? And so yeah. any concern about inflation, about rates rising, uh, could very, very quickly turn a stock market that last year seemed to shrug off any bad news. Mm -hmm. And now at these new levels, it seems like any little piece of bad news is, is kind of sending uh, just shockwaves to the system. And then, sure. of course, with all of the all the robo-trading and all of the <laughs> algorithms that kick in, <laughs> yeah. uh, I think this volatility might be here to stay. Yeah. You know, we saw in one, in one of the market trading sessions, I, don't, I was watching the market in itself. Remember when it dropped, the Dow dropped to 1,600 points? I mean, it was like systematically dropping, dropping, dropping. And maybe some of that robo-trading was kicking in. Certainly some stop losses were being hit and sent it to 1,600. And finally, it's like everyone realized, okay, 1,600 is going to be our bottom for the day, right? Yeah, and then and then obviously it looks like the some other robo, you know, yeah. uh, algorithms and other platforms kicked in and and and, yeah. and started buying it back, and and um, it's nuts. And yeah. I think the average consumer, the average investor, obviously I specialize yeah. in working with people that are in retirement or near retirement, mm -hmm. and so this volatility kind of makes a big difference because you know if you're if you're pulling money out of a portfolio, if you're pulling money out of your accounts sure. for for income, and um, you just happen to have your check. You know, your 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 check drafts, or, or you know, the day that we've seen these big shifts. Right. I mean, obviously, you know, nobody wants to be reverse dollar cost averaging and pulling money out of accounts that are that are that are negative. Sure. And so this volatility, while it might not matter or might not be that big of a deal, yeah. To uh, for accounts that that aren't having distributions made, yeah. I think it's something that we should definitely be more concerned about in accounts that are having active yeah. disbursements made. I can imagine in your business when you get real big down days like that, and then, and then especially day after day after day, your phones probably light up from all your clients, right? What's what's the one thing that you would say to your clients when we run into a market with multiple days a week or two weeks of volatility that we saw like a month ago? Yeah, and our practice is a little bit different, so we're yeah. we're definitely kind of more of a we're definitely more on the conservative side. Sure. A lot of what we do. Um, you know, is is really more in the area of retirement income planning, yeah. and so a lot of our clients, once they become clients, and they actually allow us to help them, yeah. um, you know, the the this volatility doesn't really impact you know any really any really part of their plan significantly. Obviously, you know, most of my clients yeah. um, still have some money in the market. You know, of course, they do have some money in safer guaranteed uh, accounts as well. Okay. Um, and so I, I don't have that typical practice where, you know, my clients are every day watching their accounts. 
Um, but, you know, what, what I do is I just jump ahead of that and I'll, I'll make a little uh, video uh-huh. or send an email out to my clients and just reassure them of kind of what this means for them. And, sure. And obviously with the media and and, <laughs> and television and news yeah. and social media, That's it's nice. very easy to get overly kind of get overly worked up yeah. about something that really might not even impact. And so most of my clients in my practice really saw no impact. I see. Um, at least with, with what we've done for them. But it doesn't mean that they're still not emotionally and psychologically jarred right. by by hearing this news. And uh, and so I always I always fight to help my clients maintain the proper perspective sure. to think about their life and their money, and uh, and not to get kind of overly caught up in in some of the in some of the hype and in the news and the media sure. that of course we have to report on. Yeah. But it doesn't always mean that they have to react. And I tell you, there's a lot of talking heads out there, and it's hard to really get your good information from. Uh, from the source because it almost seems like it's consensus, which seems to be all over the place. Let's go on to the Fed real quick. So inflation, yep. inflation hits the, hits the economy. Uh, Feds come in if they jack up the rates. We got about three minutes, um, and then um, you know to try to slow the inflation. Can't blame them, right? But is that going to impact the economy because we're really cooking with gas right now? Yeah, I mean, I think I think. Um I don't see any way around this. I think inflation is already here. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but right. I, I just look at what I'm paying for stuff. What I mean, the, the price of a hotel room. Sure. Um, just just <laughs> normal stuff, and I'm like, what? Like, right. the prices seem to be going have gone way more up than just the two or three okay. percent that the CPI seems to be indicating. So yeah. I think inflation is already here. I think the Fed can, you know, they're going to do their job and try and maintain it, mm-hmm. and by doing so, can almost single-handedly be the cause of this of the next correction, or if not the cause of it, yeah. at least usher it in much sooner than may have happened on its own. Yeah, I see. All right. So, uh, so if the Feds and, and I've had other conversations, what do you think as far as the rate hikes will be? You think uh, each time they meet towards between now and the end of the year, we may see some type of rate hikes like that, maybe a quarter point. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, I, I believe that what they've said is they're, they're, they're going to do, a, you know, they're planning on three rate hikes this year. Yeah. what they've said. Yeah. Of course, they can always change their mind. Sure. And, um, and so I, that's what they've told us they're going to do. I don't know if they're looking at, you know, quarter point moves each time. Um, I think having real interest rates in our economy as a, as someone that's you know trained in economics, I think that's generally healthy okay. for our economy, you know, for a long term. Yeah. And uh, the the problem is we've just been subsidized with l- such rock bottom rates since 2002. You know, for the last 16 years. Yeah. Our you know, so I just think our economy doesn't really know, and the markets are going to have a hard time swallowing it. And yeah. so uh, I think they're going to be conservative and try and move slow. To, to really not, you know, mess things up. But it's going to be tough. I think, and you're right, we've had low, low rates. And, um, and and some of these folks coming into the market, like first-time home buyers, you know, they were children when this all started. Now they're adults. And, and, and I wonder if they're used to these kind of rates because historically we've never seen this before, have we? And, uh, and rates are going to change. They certainly are. And it's like free money. We've had this for the longest time. Um, so I'm thinking folks are looking to buy homes or looking to buy those big purchases that are going to need to be uh, financed. Man, they better get on it uh, with new homes or refinancing. Hey, let's talk about U.S. jobless claims. We've got probably about a minute left here. Lowest uh, in 49 years, right? We're at 219,000. Are we on a path of shedding stagnation? Oh, we're out of time. Dang it. All right, Pedro, we're out of time here today. Where can we find no. you at? I wish we had more. Yeah, um, Kurt, for your listeners, if they want to go ahead and give us a call at 1 800 828 1821, for your listeners, I'll go ahead and rush them out a free copy of my newest release, yeah. Retired and Free nice. The Unconventional Path to Love Financial it. Certainty and Fulfillment. All right. They can call that number or they Stay can find tuned. us we'll at right retiredandfree.com.